Welcome to another edition of Northern Heat. And this week, our special guest is Joey Boudreau. And Joey, you're the, the owner, president, uh, and everything else that comes with uh, the company called Schiller Plumbing. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, first of all, I'd like to uh, congratulate you for uh, uh, winning Young Entrepreneur of the Year last uh, two weeks ago, is it now? Yeah, about two weeks now. About yeah. two weeks ago at yeah. the uh, Schiller uh, Chamber of Commerce Gala. Yeah. And, uh, Thanks a lot. Well, you're very welcome, and and we need young entrepreneurs like you to be able to uh, to keep things going in our region. And uh, so, thank you very much for uh, for doing that. So, tell us a little bit about your business. Uh, what we do now, we had started in the plumbing uh, department, and uh, now we do uh, air exchangers. Also, we do central vacuum systems. We do bathroom renovations, complete bathroom renovations, uh, even home indoor renovations. Uh, now we even started to have a specialized uh, guy into a ceramic, ceramic tile installation for shower uh, installations and all that. So uh, yeah, we're uh, trying to get in uh, a few different uh, options. Oh, you're definitely expanding <laughs> and stuff like that. So how many yeah. employees do you have now? Uh, we're right close to 12 right now, of almost full time there. Yeah. Oh, well, that's, that's interesting. So let's talk about employees because that ties into something that you and I talked a little bit about before, uh, before this interview started. And so you're a graduate from CCNB. Yep. Okay. And if I remember right, somebody had uh, posted that at the gala this year, there was three of the winners that were CCNB uh, uh, graduates at one point in time. Exactly. So yeah. Having them in the in the in our backyard is an is an asset to the uh, to the region. Exactly. Yeah. But there's also uh, an issue that you've kind of found a solution about, and so and the solution and the, and the let's not talk about the solution yet, but the issue that we want to talk about is that we use we uh, lose a lot of our youth that have to move away exactly. or want to move away in some cases, but in some cases they have to move away, exactly. and you were a victim of that because. You uh, you graduated and then uh, but there was nobody hiring and and you couldn't you've got to go through an apprenticeship and so yeah you know you had to move away uh, how it went uh, when I came out of college I worked three months into plumbing around here I got laid off because there's not there was not much work and uh, when you start out you don't get much experience so usually the owners have a hard time giving you a chance and you know they keep their experienced guys first so you get laid off first it's just normal. So I figured I'd go in uh, Moncton to get more experience. And uh, then after that, as soon as I get my plumbing license, which takes usually four to five years, depending on if you work full time or not. So uh, yeah, I went to Moncton for about five years. I got my license. And as soon as I got my license, I came back here. I worked for another business for about three years. So uh, after that, I started my own business. And yeah, uh, I mean, uh, now I have 12 employees, so I, the reason for that was that, you know, they don't have to live the same uh, experience as I've done. You yeah, know? So, so how many of of, uh, <laughs> of your employees are going through a mentorship with you now? Uh, there's about like four that are apprenticeship plumbers right now, and there's uh, we have two licensed plumbers, and we got two carpenters, we got the tile guy that specializes just in tile, and we always have a few runners too, just laboring labor guys that uh, help us out with everything else. Yeah. But the interesting part is, is that you couldn't be mentored, you couldn't get your 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 license here, and now you've you've realized that that was an issue. You had to move away. You didn't want to move away. You figured out a way to come back as soon as you could, yeah. And uh, you did, but you're doing something about it. You're doing something about it for the yeah. for the future. I try to uh, do as much as I can so that the young people around here don't have to move out to start up their careers. Well, I think that that's a, a great initiative, and, and uh, you know what? We should put a challenge out to all the other entrepreneurs in our region to. Do the same. Yeah, don't be shy to give a chance to the young guys. I mean, uh, sometimes it can be rough at the first, but uh, usually they get uh, used to the job pretty quick. <laughs> well, you know, and that's a, a great uh, a great point. And uh, uh, the, the opportunity to mentor people, to show them, you know, the business, and, and again, to solve a problem yeah. uh, is great. So uh, my hat's off to the work that you're doing. Congratulations again at, at winning the award of the Young Entrepreneur. And... Uh, you know, keep it going because, uh, you know, you're growing all the time and, and you're looking at uh, at expanding your businesses. And, and uh, so how do they get a hold of you if they want to for any work? Oh, if they need to get a hold of me, it's uh, 226-3711 for my cell phone. we got a Facebook page and uh, you can get us through email also. It's all information all on Facebook page. So if you got to get a hold of us, it's not easy. It's not complicated. Uh, yellow pages also. And uh 
Yeah, pretty much all over. <laughs> You'll see our vans go uh, through Bathurst region uh, pretty much often. So, <laughs> Well, again, congratulations. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much. And thank you for coming on the show and, and talking about your story and putting that challenge out there to the other entrepreneurs to yeah. <laughs> hire some young people that are coming out of the great community college that we have here right in our backyard. And sometimes we really don't uh, think about the things that we have. And we've got uh, such an asset there with... Uh, uh, I think they have four or five hundred people that are that are going to school there, you know. So, oh, yeah, sure. you know, yeah. we're uh, we're creating a, a, an opportunity for others. No, the workforce is right there. Just go to go get them and give them a chance and be patient. <laughs> there we go. So yeah. thanks again. Thank you. There we are. Another edition of Norton Heat for this week. The place that you come to listen to the stories that haven't been discovered yet.